Hello viewers, today we will discuss about uh, isospin. As from our previous lectures about uh, spin and uh, addition of angular momenta, addition of angular momenta, we have some interesting applications. Uh, for instance, let's say in uh, nuclear physics, in nuclear physics, we have uh, one quantity which is uh, named as isotopic spin isotopic spin and these are the uh, these are represented by the set of operators set of operators and these set of operators follow the same algebra these follow the same algebra as angular momentum so uh, we know that in nuclear physics uh, nuclear forces uh, nuclear forces does not depend on charge does not depend on charge as it does not depend on charge so uh, the proton and neutron uh, will be the separate uh, states proton and uh, neutron are the separate states separate states of nucleon so nucleon can be in the proton or in the neutron state to uh, let it go this confusion we add uh, one new quantum number one new quantum number is new quantum number to let it go these confu uh, confusion we uh, introduce new label as isospin and this isospin indicate indicate whether whether nucleon is proton or neutron let's say if uh, isospin if isospin is half then its uh, z component then its z component um, is denoted by plus minus half where uh, the difference between uh, proton and neutron can be uh, understood by the up spin and the down spin now what is the difference between uh, ordinary spin ordinary spin and uh, versus isospin unlike these ordinary spin these isospin uh, have no uh, have nothing to do nothing to do with rotation or spinning spinning motion of uh, uh, spinning motion in coordinate space coordinate space as there is not uh, as these isospin has nothing to do with the rotation and uh, or spinning in coordinate space so they cannot be they can't be coupled with angular momenta of nucleons where uh, all these things are applicable in the ordinary spin and uh, uh, in the upcoming lecture we will denote the nucleon uh, nucleon by this symbol t3 which is equals to plus minus r where t3 is the uh, third or uh, z component t3 is third or z component of isospin vector t isospin vector t okay see you in next lecture thank you